Hi guys, I'm here to talk about splinter guard fish rods from Klein and give you an idea of how to use them and what applications. Uh, first off, these get their name from being essentially fiberglass rods, much like fishing poles. They're used for pulling wire and cable, such as uh, computer cable, ethernet cable, or coax cable through uh, wall cavities or drop ceiling areas. And because they have fiberglass uh, material to them, they kind of taken on the industry term as fish rods. Um, Klein offers three different flexibilities of fish rods for any application. The first one I'm holding here is what we call our low flex rod. Now low flex rods, as the name suggests, don't have much bend to them. And the reason for this is they're great for feeding wire across a long distance like a drop ceiling area of 15, 20 feet or more. Then you go on the other extreme, we have one of our flexibilities that we call our high flex. Much thinner rod, and as you can see, much more flexibility. This rod you would use for installing like a computer jack on a wall where you have to cut the hole and then take this rod attached to the cabling that you're installing and bend it almost on a 90 degree straight up through the wall. So you need a lot of flexibility for that. And then in the middle we have uh, a third flexibility called mid flex. Still flexible, not as flexible as the last one, but uh, essentially meant to give you any flexibility from either extreme of going right up a wall or across a drop ceiling um, a cavity. Um, secondly, we have a variety of lengths, so you can mix and match to get any distance you're looking for. So we have lengths that are all the way up to six feet long, down to four feet, and we also have some rod um, items that are we call our compact rods, such, such as this guy. This is the same type of rod as a long one, but many small segments so that if you're an uh, installer that's working in the city, you have to walk at a great distance or a couple of blocks to your job and you just want to carry everything in your tool bag, it's a great item, compact, put it in your tool bag, you're good to go. Um, lastly, we have a variety of accessories for fish rods. And these give you pretty much anything you would need to do whatever task. You've got one here that is a hook. Uh, second one here is a bullet nose. One in the middle here is a uh, lighted tip, and then you have one that we call a whisk. And essentially how these work, the hook's pretty straightforward. You've got bundles of wires that might be in an open cavity area. You do use the hook essentially to grab a wire, retrieve it, bring it to you if you're doing some maintenance on it. The bullet knows simply just like regular pulling wire, you'd have open wire ends on, on the cable you're pulling, put it through this nose, tape it up, and then you pull it through the cavity. Uh, this whisk is great for bouncing around obstructions when you're going through a, a ceiling cavity. So literally, as you're going through an open ceiling, there's pipes, there are wires, there are many things that'll block your uh, path. And this, this whisk helps you uh, avoid getting caught in the middle of a, a tight area but it also these rods with the whisk you can bounce over different obstructions as you're feeding wire. Lastly we have this great uh, accessory it's a lighted tip and as opposed to only really being used to light up a dark space like a flashlight um, a lot more technicians use it as, as simply a locator so if you could imagine being an installer at a ceiling tile you've got another partner about 20 feet away from you this is a great accessory to put in a dark space, you can see the light coming right at you, and it shortens the time you need to put the, the wire and feed the cable through the ceiling. So basically, if you've got yourself outfitted with these flexibilities, rods of these lengths, and some of these accessories, you've got pretty much everything you need to complete your job. 